we want to determine the limits at infinity. Notice both limits involve the same exponential function of f of x equals e raised to the power of two x squared minus five. For the first limit, x approaches negative infinity. For the second limit, x approaches positive infinity. Before we look at the graph of the function, let's see if we can analyze the behavior of the function to determine the limits. If we can determine what's happening to the exponent on e, we should be able to determine we should be able to determine what's happening to the exponential function values. So for the first limit, as x approaches negative infinity, the exponent on e is two times the square of the x value approaching negative infinity minus five. Well, if x is approaching negative infinity and we square it, we will get an increasing positive value. So two times an increasing positive value minus five is going to increase to that bound, and therefore e raised to that power is also going to increase to that bound and approach positive infinity. This may be a little abstract. Let's go ahead and check a function value as x approaches negative infinity. For example, on the way to negative infinity, we will pass x equals negative 100. Let's check the function value at x equal negative 100. The function value is f of negative 100 which is equal to e raised to the power of two times the square of negative 100 minus five. Simplifying the exponent, the square of negative 100 is positive 10,000, and therefore the exponent is two times 10,000 minus five. Simplifying again, we have e raised to the power of 20,000 minus five, or e raised to the power of 19,995. So we should be able to recognize this is a very large positive value and it will continue to increase without bound as x approaches negative infinity and approach positive infinity. And then for the second limit, x is approaching positive infinity. Well, if x is increasing without bound in the positive direction and we square it, it's going to be even a larger positive value. So once again, the exponent on e is increasing without bound, which means the exponential function values will also increase without bound and approach positive infinity. And just to be sure, as x approaches positive infinity, we would pass the x value of x equals positive 100. Let's quickly check that function value. We would have e raised to the power of two times the square of positive 100 minus five. Simplifying the exponent, we're still gonna get the same value of 19,995. f of 100 is equal to e raised to the power of 19,995. So again, as x approaches positive infinity, the exponential function values will continue to increase without bound and approach positive infinity. And now let's quickly verify this by looking at the graph of the exponential function. Remember on the x-axis, positive infinity is to the right, negative infinity is to the left. So for the first limit, x is approaching negative infinity, and therefore we're moving left along the function as we move to the left, we can see the exponential function values increase without bound and approach positive infinity. Similarly, as x approaches positive infinity, or we move to the right along the function, again, notice how the function values increase without bound and approach positive infinity. So the graph does verify our limits are correct. I hope you found this helpful.